What's up everybody, I'm back with another Escape from Tarkov video. Today I have a money making guide for Rishala. We're gonna be going over spawn locations, loot, combat tactics, and basically all you need to know about Rishala. Before we get into the video, just wanted to point out if this video does help out, be sure to drop a like. I make guide type videos all the time, so be sure to drop a follow if you're into these type of stuff. Sometimes I drop some gameplay as well. I do my best to help out, so be sure to drop some love. And if y'all wanna see moments like these live, I stream Escape from Tarkov almost daily. We have a great time in there. I answer a lot of questions to newer players. If you guys want to see some gameplay or want some questions answered and some education, I'm more than happy to. The link will be in the description down below. All right, first let's talk about some spawn locations. So on customs, Rishala has a 38% chance of spawning in general. That means he has a 38% chance of spawning like at all. Doesn't matter the location, doesn't matter where at, on the map, it's just at all. Now of that 38% chance, he can spawn in one of three places with his raiders as well. Uh, the first place we'll be looking at is the dorms. So he could spawn in the three-story dorms. He could spawn on each level of the three-story dorms. Sometimes they spawn inside the room, so be sure to check out each room and be careful when you're inside the dorms. On the second-story dorms as well, he does spawn on the second floor. Sometimes they wander off onto the first floor. Be sure to check each room as well. Sometimes they hide, and if you run into them while they're hiding, a simple shot to the head will always kill you with some of the ammo they use. I would be getting into the loot they use later. As for gas station, uh, sometimes they spawn in the front, back, or side of gas station. They do sometimes wander off into the woods or cliff area that's highlighted on the screen right now. Be careful in the woods, sometimes you're not going to be able to see them coming and there's a lot of free area there. Um, I'll be going over uh, combat tactics in this area a little bit later. But this is one of the harder places to kill them. Um, it's not as easy as dorms and uh, stronghold is also kind of hard. We'll be going over that later in the video. But yeah, this is also one of the places that he has a chance to spawn. And lastly, we have the stronghold or Alamo uh, area. This was added in the 12.7 customs expansion. Rashal and his goons sometimes will spawn on the first floor and they have a chance of wandering off into the basement outside or even on the second floor of the stronghold. So you need to watch out for that and be attentive on those floors as well. All right, now let's talk about health. So um, one important thing to talk about health is that Rashala does spawn with more uh, health and his raiders spawn with more health than you do. Um, sometimes a simple headshot won't kill him, um, even with some ammo types, like some of the uh, 9x19 ammos will not one-shot him in the head. You know, some of the larger ammo types will, like M80s will always one-shot them, depending if they're wearing the right armor or not, of course. But Rashala does not spawn with armor, that is one thing to keep in mind. So any ammo will kill him. One, one thing to also keep in mind is no matter their health, an important thing to do is just spray. Don't conserve your ammo, don't try to be stingy with it because they will take you down quick. And whenever you're hurting them, they can't shoot you back. That's one important thing to also remember. If you're putting bullets down range and they're connecting, uh, the SCAV AI does not have the ability to shoot back at you. So that's one thing you can use to your advantage as well. Besides the uh, extra health, I don't think it really matters that much. They're pretty easy to take down in the right scenarios as long as you're playing it right. We'll get into combat tactics more later. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we have for the health. All right, now let's take a look at loot. So sometimes Rishala can spawn with AK-101 or 102 variants. These are 5.56 weapons. Um, important thing to look out for these is suppressors, handguards. Uh, sometimes they have some PKO-6s on them. Be sure to take all these. Sometimes you don't want to take the entire gun. Sometimes you just want to take the attachments to conserve some space. Because uh, the Raiders also have a bunch of loot we'll also get into. Uh, the MDR is a weapon that I would recommend just taking in general. Sometimes it spawns with a suppressor that's like worth like 100k with that suppressor is really good. And that Vortex uh, sight that's worth like 28k, sometimes more on the flea market. Also spawns with M62 sometimes. Be sure to check ammo. These ammos go for like 1,000 to 1,500 each bullet on the flea market. Um, so we're going into Saiga. Saiga is probably one of the worst ones. You don't want to find this one. Um, you won't be making much money off this. It's it's just basically the only thing you want to take off is a suppressor, maybe the foregrip. It spawns always with AP20s. And yeah, that's about it for the Saiga. The MP5, you want to be taking the ammo. Um, sometimes you'll spawn with AP6.3 or 7N31. Be sure to check that. It's worth a lot on the flea market. The suppressor and the foregrip sometimes will sell for a lot too, so be sure to take that off. And finally, the pistols, the TT pistol and the Glock 17. 
Usually you'll find the golden TT that's worth like 28K on the flea market. Sometimes it's upwards of like 36K. Um, that's about it. You just If you can take the pistol, you know, for your pistol slot, why not? It's worth money. He spawns with nades, IFAX sometimes. Sometimes he will spawn with a key card or a Bitcoin in his pockets. So be sure to check his pockets as well. Because those key cards and Bitcoins can go upwards of 200 to 300K just off that one item. And they do fit in your docks and sick cases. All right, now looking at his raiders. So one important thing to look here is um, the AKM, AK-103 variant, the AK-74 variants, and the Vepr and Adar. So when we're looking at the Vepr, uh, um, we will always have 0.366 ammo. Uh, so this ammo goes for around 800 to 900 each bullet. I would recommend just taking the ammo and suppress suppressor if you can. Pretty much our, that nothing else is worth it on that weapon. Um, for all of these, I would recommend just taking the attachments. You want to be looking for sights, compensators, ore grips, and suppressors. Those are the high ticket items on these guns. Most importantly, when you're looting the AK-74 variants, be sure to check for Igolnik rounds. And be sure to check for BP rounds on the AKM variants, like the AK-103. Besides that, the followers will sometimes spawn with F1 nades, meds. Sometimes they will spawn with Alton's Gen 4 armor. If we take a look at the headwear, we see the Alton. The armor sometimes spawn with Gen 4 or even uh, this giant 6B43 armor sells for 800k on the flea market sometimes. Sometimes they do spawn with AVS's TV-110s. Um, you can get unlucky with the tactical M2 armored grip uh, rigs. But that's about it for the follower loot. Now let's talk about combat tactics. So I mentioned earlier in the video that you want to be putting bullets down range, but one important thing to pay attention to is when we're fighting the followers and Rashala in the dorms area, it's actually insanely easy to kill them. You don't need much skill, I could call it. As long as you have a high powered uh, SMG or maybe even an AR at that close range, just put bullets down range, hit them. Aim for the head if they're not wearing an Alton, you will kill them really easily honestly really easily use nades to your advantage in those close quarters throw nades they'll start running they'll bug out their ai is programmed to run away from the nades sometimes they'll run towards you and you'll have easy um spray downs while they're just running towards you now one of the harder places to fight rashala is probably stronghold and gas station um these are more open areas and if you're going close up to them there's not a lot of cover and they will use nades to their advantage sometimes you'll get air bursted by f1s and it's really disappointing all i can recommend here is to use range to your advantage if you spawn in with an svd sniper some sort of dmr with a scope or maybe even an ar with a scope be sure to you know start sniping them if you're there at gas station go from the cliff snipe them from the cliff if they're on stronghold aim from crack house shoot them from crack house besides that if you're going to get close up and personal i would recommend going into covert uh prone uh, or crouch they do lose interest whenever you go really slow crouching and they kind of forget you're there so use cover to your advantage and use that to your advantage as well besides that the only advice i can give is use good ammo and aim for the head pretty much they're not very hard to kill but they are in numbers one versus five is not uh you know the ideal situation they are programmed to be the way they are some well, you'll only learn by fighting them the biggest problem with fighting them is PMCs will hear the nades popping off, the gunshots popping off, and they will flock to it knowing that that's a Rashala spawn. Sometimes when you hear a bunch of nades pop off, you know it's probably Raiders or Rashala, and people will fluctuate to that area because of all the money that can be made. My biggest recommendation here is to use the Raiders to your advantage. Try to make them fight the PMCs or put the PMCs in a position where they have to fight the Raiders or you can pick them off. I know it's not the best play style and it's not really you know courageous i guess in a way but it is the smartest play style in a sense that you have the lowest chance of dying also one more important thing to make sure you maximize your profits is if you're going into farm rashala and you go into dorms and you find he's not there then you go to gas station and find he's not there don't go to the third area just try to extract as quick as you can try to run through the map as quick as you can if rashala didn't spawn in the first two places he most likely didn't spawn in the third it's best to just leave the raid and go into a new one and try to get into those positions where you like the fights, like dorms. If you're more comfortable with dorms, just keep going there. 
Also, another thing to maximize your profits is to fill up the tactical rigs that you will find on the raiders with loot like F1 nades and ammo. As you guys can see in the video, I'm dropping my Triton rig and my armor. I'm insurance frauding so I can take the AVS rig, which takes less space than it provides, meaning I'll be able to fill up more items than it takes up space in my backpack. That's why you guys can see I'm taking two AVS rigs instead of just taking the items themselves. And on top of that, we're also making money off the AVS rig if I choose to sell it or want to use it. And besides that, the rest is up to y'all. Be sure to go into those raids and kill Rashala with this information. I hope that helped you guys out. Once again, if videos like these are what you guys prefer and you guys are returning viewers, or if you are already seen the channel before, be sure to leave a sub and a like. It's highly appreciated. And be sure to check out my Twitch down in the description below. I'd like to thank all of my followers and all, my, all the people on YouTube that have been subbed. You guys have been a real driving force lately and it's been really positive lately. So thank y'all and I'll see you guys in the next one.